the rainbow tinted hot springs of Yellowstone National Park lurks as one of the most destructive volcanoes on Earth. The gargantuan Yellowstone hotspot, also known as the Yellowstone supervolcano, has erupted at least 10 times over the past 16 million years, permanently altering the geography of North America and periodically warping Earth's climate and throwing flakes of airborne ash to every corner of the world. Now, if we compare that to past eruptions, Mount St. Helens is here, Pinatubo, Krakatoa, Tambora, this circle, and Yellowstone Caldera, 600,000 years ago. That's the circle. Now, researchers have made a new discovery, which was published June 1st in the Journal of Geology. And here are the supervolcanic eruptions from 0.6 to 2.1 million, all the way back to 16 million years, and the traveling of that hot spot. Now, analyzing a wide tract of volcanic rock coughed up by the volcano at Yellowstone hot spot across vast swaths of the western U.S., according to the study authors, the new discovery rewrites the hot spot's ancient history. Now, many YouTubers like Mary Greeley and others have been warning about an eruption happening anytime soon, but they couldn't be further from the truth. There is no evidence of that. There is only evidence of major, major hydrothermal activity, no eruptive evidence at all of magma. And the new study confirms this. It seems that the Yellowstone hotspot has experienced a threefold decrease in its capacity to produce super eruption events. The lead study author, Thomas Knott, purports. He's a volcanologist at the University of Leicester, England. And he said, this is a very significant decline. It's not insignificant. It's almost the most important piece of information that can calm everyone down. Now, recently, we've seen headlines like this. Yellowstone supervolcano could blow faster than initially thought. This is from 2017. Total shardicle, and I reported on that. And thankfully, researchers now discovered the key to the last 20 million years of the eruptive history of the supervolcano. The largest and most cataclysmic events were unknown until recently. And the discovery of ancient super eruptions indicates that the Yellowstone hotspot is waning. Hello. Let's reset that. Throughout Earth's long history, volcanic super eruptions have been some of the most extreme events ever to affect our planet's rugged surface. Surprisingly, even though these explosions eject enormous volumes of material, at least 1,000 times more than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens and have the potential to alter Earth's planet's climate, relatively few have been documented. And almost, well, none in our time. But this eruption, millions of years ago, and it's in fact, let's take a look. There's the hot spot. And here is the data. Oh, I just destroyed it. Here it is. So if we look at the hot spot data, this time frame here, nine million years ago, is some of the largest eruptions even 6.4 to 4.3, eclipsing the 0.6 to 0.21 eruptions. And if you look at the Fourier analysis of all these eruptions, if you do statistical analysis, you're going to find that the most recent eruptions are insignificant. In fact, researchers made the new discovery, which was published on June 1st in the Journal of Geology, by analyzing a wide tract of volcanic rock coughed up by the volcano. And do you know what they find? Well, let's check it out. I hope I can find it. Yes. We discovered that deposits previously believed to be long to multiple smaller eruptions were in fact 
colossal sheets of volcanic material from two previously unknown super eruptions about 9 and 8.7 million years ago, says Thomas Knott, a volcanologist at the L University of Leicester. And what they conclude is that the periodicity of this volcano is 1.5 million years, not 600,000 years. In fact, Knott says they have little bearing on assessing the risk of another super eruption occurring today in Yellowstone. They have demonstrated the reoccurrence rate of Yellowstone super eruptions appears to be once every 1.5 million years. He says the last super eruption 630,000 years ago suggests we have up to 900,000 years before another eruption of this scale occurs. And I would concur. So, if you're waiting for a Yellowstone super eruption, I would suggest you take your family there to see the hot spot because it will happen no time in the future. Check out Yellowstone Falls. Learn about geology. Learn about geysers. But do not instill fear in your children that this baby is going to erupt because there is 0.0000001% chance of that happening. The hot spot will remain in its glory for all to walk upon. Take a look. These are people down there just to give you a scale. And the earth and the geology that abounds is fascinating. And there's much to be learned by youthful scientists going out in the field and understanding and reworking the history. Not, not to be scared, but to be prepared. But we don't have to prepare for 900,000 years, according to a new report. Yellowstone supervolcano's largest and most cataclysmic, of, cataclysmic event was 9 million years ago, and it pales in comparison to the 600,000-year event. There is no imminent eruption coming from Yellowstone, no matter what anyone crickets. Hope you got something out of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And the Yellowstone volcano, super volcano, is the least of your worries. Thank you to all our one-time donors, our Patreons. Be safe. We love each and every one of you. Get out there and check out Yellowstone. And learn something about our history, which is not a mystery. Be safe.